Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone's well. Um, I hope our friends in the States are enjoying their Thanksgiving day so far. I know I'm enjoying it because I've literally been reading cards since I woke up today because I'm trying to get as many done today as I possibly can before I have to tackle my house and putting up a Christmas tree and cooking Thanksgiving dinner and all the things I have to do today other than reading cards for the channel. So who's up next? Virgo. All right, we're just going to hop right to it. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2020. I know it's late, but the universe gives you messages when you're intended to receive them and when I have the strength and the time to be able to sit down and actually read cards. So, if this reading resonates with you, Virgo, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards and reading them. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that resonates a little bit better. If it's just plain old flat out, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Do not take with you what does not belong to you because that's how problems get started. <laughs> Keep in mind, time is fluid. So this could have played out at any time during the month of November or it doesn't even necessarily have to be, you know, something that happened in November. Again, because time is fluid. It's a man-made construct. Just ask Neon. She'll tell you all about it. Her and I have the time is a man-made construct conversation all the time. Especially when we're running late for appointments. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Energy is fluid and can be vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of our dear friend, the Cross Watcher. We love the Cross Watchers here at Fire Sign Terry. You guys are amazing. You're welcome here anytime. Pull up a chair and have a seat. Let's throw down some cards for Virgo. If I can get these cards to shuffle. This is a brand new... Okay. You know what? It's telling me stop shuffling. Who popped out? Strength popped out. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. We'll see if it comes back out. Why are you here? Two of Cups reversed. We have a disconnect or an unacknowledged connection. Could have the feels for somebody new who just doesn't have them back. Could be. We'll see. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Two of Swords. Mmm. Decision time? That's clean cut. Either it is or it isn't. Hmm. Could be an air sign or a water sign you're dealing with. What do you think of them? The Emperor. They're very much in control. Could be a person of high status, of high power. They could have a good job. They got their crap together. Hmm. What do you want from them? Queen of Wands. Oh, well. Okay. Hmm. Well, Virgo. Okay. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a minute, but I'm pretty sure I know what that means. Just throwing this out that this channel is 18 and over only. <laughs> so, if you're under the age of 18, I suggest you click out now. <laughs> because might be a little something-something going on, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. How do they feel about you? Princess Pentacles reversed. Stagnant. Hmm. That's not going anywhere. That's... Hmm. Okay, what do they think of you? Nine of Wands in the reverse. Oh. Okay. They could see it was vulnerable. Hmm. Hmm. What do they want from you? 
Princess of Cups reversed. Huh. Huh. Speaking of unreciprocated connections, I don't even think you guys are reading out of the same book, to be honest with you. Leave those alone. Let's get some clarity. Universe stars and spirit. Can I get some clarity on, on the cards and people from Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2020? Two more shovels. See if anything pops out to the first go around before I put intention in. Ah, wow. Okay. Eight of Wands reversed. No forward moment. No communication. Unreciprocated connection. Either it is or it isn't. Either you do or you don't. Why is two of swords here? That's what I like about you, Virgo. You're pretty cut and dry. Ace of Wands reversed. I'm thinking you're feeling like no. <laughs> you're, you're feeling like either you don't want to move on this or they don't. Why is the Emperor here? Knight of Cups reversed. They want to commit. One more on that. How can they not want to move on this or you? Queen of Wands reversed. You're either in or you're out. You do or you don't. This is very confusing. Very confusing, Virgo. They have it together, but they don't. So, somebody doesn't want to move on this. And I... Why is the Queen of Wands up right down here? Emperor reversed. Okay. So let me get this straight, Virgo. Either do or you don't. And how you feel about them is that you don't. You think of them as the emperor, so they're very large in charge and in control.
feelings aren't reciprocated. There's no forward movement. There's no communication. So they're not saying it. What you want is the Queen of Wands clarified by an Emperor in reverse. So I have a sense that if this is going to happen, it's going to be on your terms. Okay. How does that work? You don't want them to put your fire out. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Why is the Princess of Pentacles up here for how the other person feels about Virgo? Okay, come on now, no, don't everybody try to talk at once. I don't need to be throwing 20 cards on the table or on the ground. Three of Cups. Friend zone. Stagnant energy. It, it, so, like throw one more on that. I'm feeling very much friend zone. King of Cups. I mean, they hold deep emotion for you and they think it could be a friendship thing, but anything more, no. They have very deep feelings for you, but it's, it ain't like that. Okay. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed for what the other person thinks of Virgo? Either they see you as n not having one more in you. Or they see you as vulnerable and not willing. And just accepting it is what it is. One more. Lover's upright. There's a connection there. One more. Karmic. Hey, you get back the way you were. Wheel of Fortune. Possibly a karmic connection. It is what it is. It was a season. It was a moment. You don't have it in you. That, that's, that's what I keep hearing. They don't have it in them. It was a moment. It was like, pfft, over. Why is the Princess of Cups reversed here for what the other person wants from Virgo? I don't want 20 cards. Why did you give me four cards? Five cards. We're going to put these back and try that again. I don't normally do that, but we're going to put it back and try it again.
seven of wands. Now you're reading from the same book. If this is going to be a thing, it's going to be on my terms. Oh, wow. I love it when they mirror each other right at the end. I love it. <laughs> not even coming to the table if it's not on my terms. Hmm. Okay. What's the obstacle here? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in the reverse nonetheless. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Four ones reversed. Unsteady, unstable foundation. Somebody's not what they're claiming to be. Somebody is not as large and in charge as they say they are. Somebody might have a little bit of a, a little bit of an ego problem, an overblown ego, nonetheless. Possibly both of you. Just saying. Don't want to throw shade at anybody, but the obstacle here, the world card. This was a season. This was a thing. This was a moment, and I think the moment's over. Possible resolution. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> One on the Queen of Swords, please. I said one, not 20. All right, we saw the Death card reversed. We saw the Three of Wands. We'll see if either one of them comes back out. I might have to take a little bit of a break because my hands are starting to cramp. That's why I keep dropping cards. Strength, trust. Five of Wands. Accepting your differences and just accepting that it is going to be, you know, coming to terms with it. Okay, honest conversation. <laughs> it may just be time to, pardon me, cut each other out of each other's lives because this is going to be nothing in confrontation. It's just, the, it's just your differences. It was a moment. It was a season. And the season has come to an end. You were just too different. Outcome. Prince of Cups. Okay. Why the Prince of Cups is the outcome? Yup, my hand's cramping. I'm not done for the day. I just need to take a break. Why the Prince of Cups?
temperance. Honest conversation. Someone may need to apologize. Okay, there will be a better energy flow between you once the conversation occurs. Once there is acceptance of the fact that you were just too different and it was always confrontational and that the season may have come to an end. Let's get some advice for you, Virgo. Eight of Wands upright, Four of Wands reversed. Move forward and leave the tower on the ground. The Four of Wands reversed is my minor arcana tower. Some of you may know. Leave the tower on the ground. Just let it be. Move forward. Seven of Cups upright in the chariot. Keep your options open. <laughs> if you want to keep each other as an option, great. If you don't, whatever. But you might want to just maintain distance until energy flow is improved. I mean, if you're literally to the point where, okay, if we're going to try this again, it's going to be on my terms, and you're both saying that, it doesn't work like that. Especially if that's the only place you're on the same page or even in the same book. Because you can't have two control freaks in a relationship. It doesn't work that way. Sorry. It's the way I see it. King of Wands upright and the High Priest reversed. Isn't that what I just said? You can't both be in charge. If you feel like somebody needs to be in charge, it doesn't work that way. That's not how relationships work. That's not how unity works. There isn't somebody in charge of a harmonious connection. It's not how that works. Okay, Virgo, I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate you so much. Hopefully December will be up sometime over the weekend. I doubt I'm going to get to it today. I tried, guys. I tried. Uh, weekly top and bottom will be posted tomorrow afternoon. Let me know if it resonated. I love reading emails. Again, thanks for stopping by. If you're in the States, again, have a happy Thanksgiving. Make it a blessed one. If you're outside of the States... Enjoy the rest of your November. <laughs>